Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather. And I thought I'd come back. And, and normally I would stop these updates and sometime in April. Um, but uh, we've got a nice storm system or storm systems moving in with some pretty significant snow for parts of the West. So I thought we'd do this. Here are my uh, headlines. Now these are definitely spring storm systems. And in between the spring melt has already kicked in and a lot of mountain valleys. Um, so what this will do is these storm systems, basically through the 20th, there's probably two that they'll put the brakes on the spring melt and we'll add some more mid and high elevation snowpack to give us some extra water down the road. Um, so that's what these are going to do. Let me just show you what it looks like right now. And this is an infrared satellite. So your storm track is, is kind of like this. Um, and there's that west coast storm which is happening now. And then your storm track. So uh, let me just mark these so you can kind of see them. Um, you got this low right here. That's the one that's really changing the pattern. You've got another low back here. Um, these two will be the two primary drivers of the pattern as we slide through um, mid-April now, right? Through the 20th, 11th through the 20th. Um, so let's look at the GFS here. And here is the GFS model and its interpretation of these events. So here comes this storm system across the West. Pretty big, right? And Tuesday morning, uh, Monday night, Tuesday morning. So tonight and Tuesday morning, you got snow in Utah and Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, and Colorado with a lot of wind as well. Um, on my blog this morning, I actually went into uh, depth on some of the high points across the West and, and showed you what the, some of the wind gusts are going to look like over the next few days. And in some cases, they're going to run 50, 60, 70, 80, 95 miles an hour across Colorado, Utah, New Mexico, it's in California. Very windy pattern with the jet stream knifing in to escort this storm system and the one behind it. But what it's going to do is, while the main storm moves through, through Tuesday and probably early Wednesday, behind it what it's going to do is set up a northwest type of orientation with the flow. You can see it coming out of the Pacific Northwest. So here's Tuesday night, here's Wednesday morning. Some leftover snow on that uh, sort of west-northwest flow across uh, Colorado, Utah, Wyoming, Montana, and so on. That big storm moves out. Um, and still re residual snow on Wednesday, Wednesday night. Same places with that northwest flow, so it just keeps going. Dries up a little bit on Thursday, but probably keeps going early on Thursday in Colorado. Next storm system, um, there's a little, little wave right there that kind of moves in. There's really not a whole lot to it. This is still mainly an orographic flow here on Thursday. Um, here we are on Friday morning, still looking at kind of an orographic flow. The next storm system moves into California on the 16th. You can see it happening. So between the 16th and probably the 18th, it will move in. How far north it goes, this indicates pretty far north track, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming and probably clipping Utah, northern Colorado. We'll see. That's way down the road. There's Sunday. Uh, so this is Sunday morning right here, the 17th of April. Let me just show you what the 18th. Here's the 18th, things drying out. Um, another storm potentially hitting the west coast on the 19th. So there you go, that runs all the way through the 19th. Let me show you what I'm thinking as far as totals. So all of today through the 15th, big totals. I also, in my blog at christomer.com, went into... Uh, I listed out when I think the best shots of snow are for various ranges like the Tetons, the Wasatch, the Sierra, and the Colorado Mountains. You might want to look at it. Um, let me just, let me see if I have it. I don't think I have it pulled up, but let me, um, let me see if I can get it pulled up. I keep talking about it. I might as well just show it to you. Um, so let me go back. Let me go back here. Where is my... Here we go. So here's the blog post I keep referring to. And I talk about snow and wind this week. I give you some headlines there that snowiest days, um, the setup, and here are all the wind gusts over the next few days, like Kings Peak. And look at Crestone Peak in Colorado. Could gust 100 miles an hour on the 12th. Um, and then I went into all the snow forecasts. So, uh, and, and subscribe to that blog if you haven't. You can do that right at the bottom right here. You can click on subscribe. So thank you for uh, looking at that. Let me take you back. My snow numbers through the 15th, you can see they're pretty big. This is significant, right? Mid-April type stuff here. Mid and high elevation snows are going to be good. A couple of feet in the Sierra um, from Tahoe North. In Colorado, the best snows I-70 North because as the flow uh, kind of hangs around on uh, Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, it's more of a northwest flow. That's going to favor I-70 in North in Colorado. Um, I'm thinking a couple of feet at least in the, uh, the Wasatch, if not probably 14 to 18, somewhere in there. Uh, probably similar up in the Tetons. 
Let me show you phase two. Here's the 16th through the 20th. We'll add another three to 10 in the Sierra, another three to six over the Wasatch, and in the Tetons, another three to six in parts of Colorado, I-70 and North. And this is that period where it really depends on how far north that next storm system goes. You know, does it go California, Utah, Northern Colorado, North, or does it hang a little further south? Still a ways out, but you can kind of see what I'm thinking there. Um, so let me take you into a couple of my uh, Zoom maps here into Colorado, Central and Northern Mountains, just through the 15th here. Again, eight to probably 14, but at the higher elevations, um, you're, these are these are mid elevation forecasts here. But at the higher elevations, we could be talking even bigger numbers where the colder air is going to be hanging out. So that's Colorado, I 70 North. Let me show you my uh, forecast for the Wasatch uh, from from basically Park City all the way into Snowbird and Alta. Uh, anywhere from 14 to 18, basically, in big and little Cottonwood Canyons. 14 to 18, maybe a 20-inch amount. And then, of course, there's snow beyond this as well. 16 through the 20th, we could add another 3 to 6 inches to, to this, so it would end up at, you know, like 2 feet. So there you go. I mean, that's the way it looks to me right now. I'll probably do another update tomorrow. This is a pretty big week by snow standards and storminess and all of that. The, the jet's looking powerful. You've got aura graphics in play. All of this really setting up a nice week. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Take care.